of of getting more injured, but we knew it was going to hurt him like hell, and he knew it was going to hurt him like hell. But that's the kind of uh, player he is. That's the kind of teammate he is. He fought through it um, because because it it was important for him to be out there, and he knew it was how important it was to him and his teammates for him to be out there. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and um, today I want to talk about Nick Sirianni. Yes, I believe Nick Sirianni is screwing over Jalen Hurts, man. I don't think he should have disclosed that Jalen Hurts was hurting like hell playing against the Giants. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Look, he's causing panic. I believe he's causing panic in A, um, with Jalen Hurts, and B, with the fan base. I believe he's causing panic, man. A lot of people thinking that, like, man, maybe Jalen Hurts is hurt. And um, the last game we seen him play, we seen some, you know, some unusual things, taking early slides and um, deep ball was a little off a bit. So now people are thinking, like, man, going to our next playoff game, he might play the same. He might not be willing to take those risks. Maybe we should let Minshew finish it out. I don't know. It's causing a frenzy. You got people out here saying maybe we should sign another quarterback. I don't know. I, I don't think think Sirianni did Jalen Hurts no no justice at all. Because now you go into that divisional round. It's the playoffs now. Teams gonna play dirty. They gonna play dirty, man. And I think a lot of teams are gonna lean on that shoulder. Well, especially if we get the Giants or the Cowboys, they really going to try to go after this man. And, um, yeah, man, he put a target on his back. I just don't think he should have disclosed that. Should've, I think he should have said, like, he's fine. He's okay. A little sore here and there, but he's okay overall. But the way Nick Sirianni was explaining it and then really want to go into detail if he was going to be hurt for the divisional round, it's causing a lot of panic, a lot of thinking. A lot of people took from that clip hurting like hell hurting like hell hell i took it like man is jalen hurts really good or not last two games we seen them they said the bears was like his worst game still threw over 300 yards then i seen him against the giants a little lackluster but the play calling was vanilla he didn't do the same usual running as he do and you wonder if we're going to go into the playoffs like that. But I'm not panicking. I know other people are going to panic. But it does make me think, is he as hurt? Is he more hurt than I think? Truly don't know, man. I, I truly don't know. But make this video short, man. I got to get some rest. I am very tired at the work. Can't wait for the days I'm working from home. I could go into the studio, start doing these phone videos. And, um... All I can say with Jalen Hurts, he's going to get better, man. I think the week off, he's just going to heal, get ready for his next opponent. If that's the Bucks, the Dallas Cowboys, the Seahawks, um, Giants, whoever it is, I think Jalen Hurts will be ready. I think he'll be willing to take hits. I, I think he'll be fine. I, it's causing a lot of panic, but I believe he will be fine, man. But Nate Sirianni did not make his situation better. It caused, it's causing a lot of frenzy, a lot of headlines. You got people saying we're going to get knocked out the divisional round. It is what it is. I'm keeping those receipts. But, hey, man, what do you think I do feel about Jalen Hurts? Is he as hurt as you think? This is Alcabeta Analyst. Huh.